Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. Over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Hey guys, it's another earth shaking edition of the Wrestling Mayhem <laughs> Show. Oh, he's got him all day, guys. What's up? Hold on. Hold what? what? We need to see how many earthquake funds we do this show. Yes, exactly. Someone so, needs to take a tally of this. I'm Sorg, hitting your hitting your airwaves and leaving the graphic up so you guys know exactly what time we're at. Uh, <laughs> here on the Mayhem Show, and here rocking the night away with us is DJ Lunchbox. What's I, up, my dogs? He's drunk. He's, I'm, he's I'm, drunk. I'm a little, I'm a little bit drunk. He's I won't drunk. lie to you that tonight's show is brought to you by what? Woodchuck Hard Cider. Buy it by the case. Drink it before you do your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And now in the his loungy, lounging area of his apartment. <laughs> Come <Yeah>. on, man. <laughs> All right, the laid back Mad Mike. The what is up, ladies? More mellow you are Mike in tonight. the living room of Mad Mike, and this show is brought to you by Pepsi and Shark from the Dungeon of Doom. All right. <laughs> so on the couch is Mr. Mr. Chachi. Hi. And his new haircut. Yes. I got a haircut between shows. <laughs> you did, literally, between shows. <laughs> Since the awesome cast, your hair is different. And that's all he has to put in. And back is the Riz. Yeah, Hi. Hi. And I'm going oh, to exercise my clause for the WWE Championship right here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. That's right. Cash it oh, in. Yes. Cash it in. Cash it in. Well, guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are here every Tuesday live at 830 p.m. Eastern. If you want to get involved with these shenanigans, uh, do it that way. Uh, you can also check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Follow us on Twitter. Mayhem Show, at Mayhem Show, of course, and of course we have all our individual Twitters from there. And what the hell sounds are you making over there? I believe it has to do with this alcohol. Okay. I, all right. That's not, dude, you, that's not me. No, I'm not making noise. Shot you, that's <laughs> shot you. <laughs> and you can also contact us at Good Times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Good times. Delay. 412-206-WMS0 is the hotline. We got a few calls in today. Please keep it under 30 seconds and concise so we can use it on the air. A lot of people don't do that. But Sork, what if you're drunk? Well, then I just have to... That's an exception. Then I take a sample of 30 seconds. You know Uh, what? You can do whatever you want if you're drunk, really. But, I mean, unless some people are just drunk every time they call here, they are not keeping the 30 seconds. Hi. 30 seconds, guys. It's a radio show. Chachi, you got something there? Yeah, um, because we didn't get any emails last week. Okay. From couple. no, what I mean was on the gold app. Yes, we didn't get any emails. There was a contest on the gold app. Yes. So or you want to hold up what it was? Yeah, and we're gonna open it up to everyone else. Are now. we? Yes. Okay. So, so we're opening this up. Yes. If you've been on the show, you, you can't are not. Participate. Yeah, you are not eligible if you've been on the show. Either call in or couch. Should we give a new trivia question? I don't think we can do this to the live chat either. We want to open this no. up to, to the live thing. No, you know what? Let's not give a new trivia question. Same <laughs> trivia question. Okay. It's do Xbox. You remember what the one it's was Xbox. Yes, I do. Yeah. <sighs> it, the question is uh, send us an email at Good Times. Good Times. Good times. At WrestlingMayhemShow.com and tell us the last wrestling event that. X-Pac was at. Well, that might have changed because it's been a week I don't later. Think that, was the... that was the question. Yeah, it was the question. Uh, yeah. What was what was uh, the, the the event he was at the weekend of uh, SummerSlam? Yes. But we're, it'll be the last wrestling event he was at. Yeah. I'll look you, you, it up. You think it is? Yes. Okay. And we'll go with it. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, there you go. Win the prize. That's a camo Xbox for you on audio. Yeah, limited edition. That's right. Special issue. And Special shit. issue. I also want to give a shout out to everybody that maybe listened to us the first time from the Baltimore Comic Con that stopped by the booth, grabbed the sticker, signed up for the mailing list, all that kind of jazz. Thank you what? very much for joining us. I hope you enjoy the show. And please give us our <laughs> feedback, and we love to hear from you guys. 
right out there. Uh, so a, a lot of great people we met out there. Uh, had a great conversation with a guy wearing a Fozzie t-shirt. It was pretty cool. Um, what a crazy random happenstance. Yeah, right. Also, a guy I, I'm hoping to contact soon to uh, talk to on here. I think it was uh, Monsters of M or Monsters versus MMA or something like that. Uh, that so I'll have to look that up and I'll have that along here shortly. Um, so yeah. Oh, the rest of it. Yeah, you know, you can find the show on iTunes. You can find it on Blip TV. You can find it on the YouTube. You can watch us on your Roku box. You can uh, and you can leave a lot of comments and stuff for us so we know uh, how good we're doing at the show. And you can also check us out on your iPhone, iPad, and Android app on the WMS Gold app. You can find that in all the uh, app stores and Amazon store and all that stuff. And uh, and and that's your yeah, that's your lifeline to us, guys. That's your that's your lifeline. There it is from Mad Mike. There, uh, that's your lifeline to to the hotmail to all the contacts and uh, very exclusive exclusive videos of uh, before and after the shows and. And, and just stuff we don't put out there to the general audience. So uh, go check that out and be part of the community. Um, and also, we got lots of stickers. Josh, you stickers over there. Is there. Are those available to you? Yeah. Why, you want me to grab them? <laughs> yeah, you can hold those up. We got plenty of them. <laughs> He's like, yeah, what about <laughs> Yeah, it? sure. What about those stickers? Stickers. Yeah, stickers. There you go. Wrestling Mayhem Yay! Show. Stickers. Stickers. You, you can uh, send us a self-addressed mail, uh, self-addressed stamped envelope to uh, 155, one thir- one, blah, blah, blah. You want our stickers. Wrestling Mayhem Show stickers, care of Swordtron Media, uh, 1535 Velasco Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA, 15216. You and we'll want send our you a stickers. Bunch of, as much as we can stick. The bigger the envelope stickers. you send us, the bigger, the more stickers you get. All right, guys, now it's time for us to touch with touch our fans. <laughs> Whoa! Ew. I love wow. touching our fans. Uh, yeah, we got, one. yeah. we got a fan mail from the guy right there, Riz. Hi. <laughs> so to read Riz's email, even though he's on the show, is the voice of the Riz, Chachi. Hold on one second. Uh, 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 Handling something. Uh, Handling business, something. Business. Business. Business, sending, business, sending, 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 sending. I wanted to see if we could get around going. It's a really good part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be my favorite part. <laughs> Wait, row, row, no. All right. All right. WMS! John Tenta be damned. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's what it says. One. Start it. That's what it says. <laughs> Not too soon. That's what Not it says. Not too soon. <laughs> John Tenzo with Anyways, Earthquake, for those that don't know. On with the email. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Hardy, you are a tool. <laughs> Time for the top five things we learned from Matt Hardy's Joyride. Oh, here we go. Number five. Uh, starting on a good note. When we get in the insight of how delusional Matt Hardy is when he gets high on his brother's stuff, besides getting a bad case of the munchies. This is the quote from Matt Hardy. Yes. <coughs> when the side window's glass smashed into my face, arms, and neck, some of the blood that did felt almost angelic. I went from being afraid to die to feeling like I was almost reborn with some sort of an absolute pure life force. All caps. Yes. Wait a minute. No, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it, is this really a tweet that he sent out? Is he I don't think it was a tweet. I think gonna... it was just a message. Okay. It wow. was the most amazing thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> I felt like <laughs> I just received the blood of an angel flowing inside me. I know this sounds crazy. Yep. Due to these, <laughs> I only have urges to help people. And miraculously, all my vices are gone. Yeah, but so is your sanity, sir. By the way, Matt Hardy's blood would feel refreshing. On a hot day, I bet being cold-blooded really pays off. Number four! That when you want to say that you are sober, don't have a mugshot where you look shit-faced. Number three. Jeff's going to have his brother as a cellmate! <laughs> Number two, the return of modern Matt facts. Do I need to tell you how awesome this Twitter profile is? Number one, who would win in a race between Matt Hardy and Nick Hogan? 
the court system. <laughs> yeah. On a serious <laughs> note, I would like to get as famous as Mark Hardy, Shane Helms, and other people who have bad histories with drugs and alcohol, or do something that fucking stupid, because I have the feeling that Matt Hardy could go out there and shoot someone in front of 100 of his fans who are really just there to hopefully get a glimpse of Jeff Hardy. And 99 of those fans would say that you don't know the full story. Mm. And that one person would have been called arrogant, beaten, and left for dead. I've learned that being a fan of something doesn't mean that guy or girl is innocent. Excuse me. Maybe it's time these Omega fans need to grow up and stop coddling their favorite douchebags and dickwads. Until next time, the answer is the wall. Riz. <laughs> well, there you go. The answer to the first question. Yeah. The question. Who would win in a race? Oh. Uh, uh, I get it. Ta-da. Ta-da. Uh, uh, thank you, Matt Hardy, for for being so freaking awesome. Um, yeah, and I showed off the mugshot a little bit during that email. I, yeah, really, really, Matt Hardy, really. I, I, you know, people get all uh, uh, up about like, oh, these are just uh, guys having a hard time. No, as soon as you're having drugs and doing stupid shit like this, no, you're just a fucking tool. He, I'm just happy he didn't kill anyone when he was being an idiot like this. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, LB, you have thoughts. <laughs> 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 and that's his thoughts. I don't know if we want to hear those thoughts. I, I, I don't think those. I don't think those. I don't think we're ready. Are, uh... I don't think. I don't think I have. If there's anything I can say that's new or. I mean, come on. Seriously, it's sad enough that we've watched Jeff Hardy completely fall apart, and now we have to watch Matt do it too. I mean, seriously, I mean, they're fucked. They're both completely fucked, and mm-hmm. I, for mm-hmm. one, can't wait until. We are like ten years from now, when we're doing a remember when, um, and we're like, "Hey, remember when <laughs> the Hardy Boys were alive?" Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. we'll be able Just... to do that by my birthday. <laughs> well, like, yeah, last night, last, Jeff, last night, Jeff will be dead within uh, at least three years. I'm giving him three years tops, and I'm giving Matt. You know, I'll give Matt a good ten because somebody's going to keep him on life support for a while. Mm-hmm. Matt Hardy is like a Marty Jannetty. He just doesn't go away. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. will not die. Now, um, we were we were saying in the chat last night uh, that uh, uh, oh crap, I felt I lost. Oh, like, you know, how's the only the only one for the Omega Group that makes sense? Uh, Shannon Moore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What and the employed. Fuck? And employed because Matt Hardy's not employed. It actually hasn't been for a little bit from uh, TNA. Yeah. Jeff so, Hardy's still employed. He's yeah. going to be at the tapings on Thursday. Yeah. How's Jeff Hardy, who has been under prosecution for for how many years, is employed? And then Matt Hardy has one run-in? Well, a- Sorg, Sorg, you have to remember, Matt Hardy is not the one that sells merchandise. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, one, no, no one buys a Matt Hardy shirt. That's true. So people That's will true. buy the brand new Jeff Hardy DVD coming out via TNA. People or the, will buy the Jeff Hardy Halloween costume. The Halloween oh. costume, yeah, yeah. You know, actually. I would be more likely to buy a Jeff Hardy DVD of uh, all the continuances and all of his court dates, and I would watch it. <laughs> Hold on, can I call time out for a second? What's that? I want to address the chat room. Uh, okay. Uh, Ill Nades said that he sent an email to goodtimesatwrestlingmayhemshow.com with the uh, the answer to the question. Okay. Um, I want to clarify that it's not there. We don't, dun, 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 dun. So, uh, just go ahead and just go ahead and resend it. it I just yeah, yeah, we, I literally just checked the inbox and it's not there. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet, sir. So. So, yeah. yeah. Anyhow, uh, um, the, the only DVD Nowadays, with Jeff Hardy, that I would buy is the uh, OMG moments that WWE is releasing, and which I, looks great. And I don't even know if he's yeah. on it. Where's in there? What, I mean, I'm uh, assuming he is. Yeah, he has to be. I'm assuming, got speared by Edge. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming he'll be on there. But wait, wait, Matt know. or Jeff? Jeff got Jeff. speared by Edge. In, Jeff, in, yeah. the, in the promo, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I'd I, imagine Jeff Hardy swantoning off the uh, Titan Tron onto Randy Orton will be on there too. Mm-hmm. 
in related news uh, on Netflix, they have that uh, best cage matches ever DVD. Yeah, I haven't watched that yet, but I want to. I think WWE putting their DVDs on Netflix streaming is the best idea they've ever had. Yep. Yes. Uh, yep. Uh, the Rey Mysterio behind the mask was amazing. They have the cages one up there. Oh, it, it's been it's been tremendous lately. And yeah, uh, it's been tremendous. Bobby said that uh, the Macho Man one is on there now too. Oh no! Seriously, if if you're if you were ever a fan of the Macho Man, go out and buy the DVD. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I don't recommend DVDs often. <laughs> Because a lot of times, you know, you just watch the doc and it's done. Go out and buy the Macho Man DVD. The bonuses, the bonus features are totally worth it. Mm-hmm. Because see, you get all guy. the Macho Man promos that you could mm-hmm. ever hope for. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely amazing. And, and uh, Alienates, uh, uh, you know what? It, Alienates, please give me a phonetic spelling of your name so I can't, I stop fucking it up. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but he says the Y2J one was good. Yeah, that was tremendous when yes. I saw that one. And, and I mean, yeah, it'd be great to have the matches, but if you're just like, hey, I want to check it out, uh, have the Netflix and, and seeing the, the, you know, the, the documentaries are, are a pretty good buy for what you're getting on, on Netflix for like, what, eight bucks? So, I mean, that's, you know, that, that, and you get a lot more than that than you do with, uh, you know, like a 24 seven kind of thing. So, ill, yeah. ill nades, ill nades, ill nades, ill nades. Ill nades. Okay. Now we know, and now everybody else knows your name too. Yes. Um, <laughs> welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, now, sir. Now we now, can communicate correctly. If I'm not mistaken, that was all the fan mail, right? Um, wait, hold on. Well, there is the voicemail. There are the voicemails. Uh, yes, I'll, about the I'll be, I'll be getting those. Uh, does anybody want to take on the AON report here and uh, uh, pick see. out some of the good parts? Not it. Man. Not it. <laughs> Wow. All right. AON. AON <laughs> I'm pointing out that Riz doesn't even get the email. So yeah. He yeah. Do it I don't even get the email. So, no. so you're automatically not it. I'll so, do it. All right. Hold here. on. Give me a minute. Because I need to put stuff up here. So, uh, but AON, of course, Bobby, FJ Town up in uh, Johnstown, PA. This is his local thing. That has been rife with murders. Uh,. I was going to say murders, homicides, and kidnapping, but that's too, pipe bombings. Yeah. Pipe bombings. Uh, Everybody been, loves a pipe bomb. I mean, it's a very, it's a, definitely a very violent fight up there in Johnstown, and we're always okay. curious to see who's died now. All right, mm-hmm. I got it. All right, uh, here's some of the. And he entitled it "AON Report Short Version." Thank you. So, all right. Um, some of the things that went down at War for Territory 4. <laughs> Full report coming next week. Uh, Randall Fairway won the main event to become the new AONPA heavyweight champion. Although he represented the GM Samantha Sanders, Kess Edelson uh, somehow gained full control of AON, and I believe he and Randall turned on Project 13. Kess also helped ISP to defeat Colin Blair to gain control of the cartel. Blair suffered a concussion. Uh, Black Lightning regained the tel- TV title. Marcus Cage defeated Justin Starr for the love of Bobby Frapples. <laughs> X-Men the announcer. He used to be over 400 pounds but lost a lot of weight. Won the Battle Royal for a title shot at Automassacre. He eliminated unofficial friend of the show, Manchild, to win. More <laughs> More to go uh, next week. Oh, man child. man child. Poor man child. Wait, he was saying last night that man child was eliminated like fourth. That's unfortunate. So there you go. That's unfortunate. That's the uh, the AON report. There you go. Now we got a good bit from our friend, uh, the Wrestle fan, your friend online. Why are we? What? Should be a minute. Should be a minute. He Should be a minute on the dog. Rumor has it it will be. Rumor has it it will be. So uh, yeah. Bobby said it was Manchild and X Men at the end. Okay. So. Hey, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Oh. Uh, this is the Wrestle Fan. Sorry I can't be here this week, but here, still with me or not, is your indie minute for this week. Um, just to start it off, uh, the only, not a whole lot of indie news. The only thing I could talk about is IWC Cage Fury, which was this past Saturday in Elizabeth, Pennsylvania. Uh, the main event of Why is Team IWC coming out on top of the Founding Fathers. Um, I don't like a bunch of other great matches. Um, both really uh, Justin Idol and Logan Shudlo qualifying for the Super Indie Ladder Match to higher. crown a new Super Indie Champion. Um, Dalton Castle making an impact <laughs> afterwards and attacking Justin Idol. Um, and much more stuff. If you want to go check that out, go to IWCWrestling.com. 
uh, to go get the DVD coming soon. Um, no, guys. And like I said, slow news. Not go. But um, either way, this is your indie minute for this week, and it's actually a minute. How about that? See you guys later. There you go. Uh, but unfortunately, we have more than that. Of course, we have the ILN report, and we do have another voicemail that I'll play a little bit of. This is not 30 seconds. Uh, now, I tell Sorg at Resolution that I'm coming to Cage Fury. That's and I'm enough. glad you I did. To Cage Fury, I'm glad you did. And Papa Lunchbox is nowhere to be found. That's Wait. Because... Coincidence? <sighs> oh, man, the show was great, though. Okay. I don't get it. You know, I don't man, get I, as I've gotten on Sorg about, you know, con- you know, the big indie he always talks about and the guys from it are IWC and this is your is this is your uh, come up at Sork. I gotta say, I drew I uh, I came from the Youngstown area for it. Why is he mad at Sork? The ticket fee that He's people on the board were bitching he about. Is. He is. Shows like that are why I I still care about indie wrestling. There you go. There you go. And he goes a little more into it. Dawn <laughs> Castle was great. Still, he, 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 he yelled at Sorg for Lunchbox not being there yeah. because he told Sorg he was going to be there. Bruh, I drove God, all the way know from know why Freaky still cares about indie wrestling. Praise Jesus. <laughs> but no, hey, seriously. Yes, he gets on us. Drinking. Yes, yes, Big Freaky gets on us about some random stuff that I make me wonder if he listens to the show. <laughs> Uh, but, but it, you know, it, it's cool to see that he did, uh, take another chance on IWC, was not disappointed. So, there you go. Um, and, uh, wait, what is, I got another one. Hey, Sork, Sork, yeah. guess what? Uh, I, I'm gonna go to an indie show. You are? I'm gonna go to an indie show. Okay. In October, um, my local fed up at, up by my folks' place in Poughkeepsie, mm-hmm. Northeast Wrestling. Okay. The main event. This could be the greatest thing of all time. A no holds barred match. Jerry the King Lawler versus Terry Funk. No fucking Whoa. way. Wow. Yes. I could go wow. for some of that. Jerry wow. Lawler versus Terry Funk. You better bring and, us some um, reports, sir. And uh Tommy Dreamer is in a title match for the for Northeast Wrestling. And Bret Hart is going to be a referee for a um Kind of uh, mega powers collide at least on their like in their fed. It's this uh te- this uh these guys Vic Delicious against Hale Collins. They used to be like the biggest tag team in Northeast Wrestling. Vic and Delicious going to be the referee. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, and I oh, want and s- Mickey James is going to be there too. Cool. Yeah. And, and, uh, yeah. Talk about Wrestle- delicious. and and Kevin Nash actually. Holy shit! I'm wow. getting him to I sign wonder- my Ninja Turtles two DVD. <laughs> Yes. Oh man, that's gonna happen. That's what I. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I have Get Ninja Turtles. No, CM Punk I have. Shirt. I have Ninja Turtles two. So, <laughs> I, 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 I. No way. I have. I have Ninja Turtles two on VHS signed by Vanilla Ice, and I was there where Kevin Mash was and didn't get my tape signed. I can't Sword, believe I didn't think about it. Huh? Mail it to me. I'm not mailing you a signed Vanilla Ice caught VHS and Ninja Turtles two, sir. I do I not will. trust. It signed I by do Kevin not. Nash for I do not trust the postal system to send you that copy. <laughs> um, no. Wow. But actually, you actually, sent me my apartment keys once in the mail. <laughs> yes, your apartment is not as valuable valuable to me as a vanilla ice signed copy of Ninja Turtles to the secret of the fucking ooze. Damn it! Oh shit! On VHS, Simon Oh uh, man, that's right. Shit just that's got right. real. It got real, real, hey. really real, real. All right, wow. um, and that's Maybe your Andy you minute. Find somewhere else to stay for Comic Con, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, hold on, time up. What's time up? Out. What's up? What's I can up? still What's sleep up? on your couch, though, right? Of course, Josh. You just right, don't sleep. fuck up my curtains. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm just gonna sit on a park bench like they do it in Baltimore. Well, you know, I, I uh, they hide a Dennis Gregory for me. I I don't think I'll. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get completely shit faced this time. So <laughs> you sure? Because that seems to be the thing to do when we go to New York. Are. I think it's gonna happen. Well, there, there has no, because I didn't. Bump I didn't budget. get completely shit faced last time. I mean, I got drunk, but it wasn't. Oh, I need to go rescue someone from the bar. Drunk. That's true. That's true. Well, no, because we'll all be at the bar at the same time. Exactly. We won't Chad split up. There we won't split up, up again. Listen. Anyways. I, the first time I was there, I was testing the every fifth drink was free theory. <laughs> all right? How many free drinks did you get? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> See, for me, Five. because it's my bar, it's every fourth drink. Yeah, no, that's I, that's completely understandable, and I respect your uh, 
your clout, sir. Um, I, I bow down to your awesomeness in that I matter. am mayor of Femlis. But, um, yeah, I, I seriously, seriously, uh, the first time we went to New York for Royal Rumble, I would, because at, at Brother Jimmy's, one of the fish bowls were free. And then we went to Fenwick's, and it just seemed like every fourth or fifth drink, he just told me to keep my money. And I kept going back to see if that was just going to keep happening. And it did. Oh, oh, we got, we, and, we do have a response to your And thing I, I rescued Chad from the bar. All right. I think that's the indie minute and some good stories, good times. Let's go to the break. Good times. Oh, oh no, 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 no. We're going to a no. break. Oh. We're going to a break. So you, uh, you, you said good times. So I thought we were going to do that again. You know, what's going to be anyone on the wants app. to send us an email. They, yep, they, yeah, besides so you me. want to send us an email <laughs> other than Riz that, that's about good stuff. And, okay, let and me, uh, prizes. Let me verify this answer. And we'll be back. Wrestling Mayhem Show. And we're calling people. We'll be right back. Never been raped like this in your lives. And I know, I know you've been raped a lot. Mike, I know. Mad Mike, I know you pay for the rapings. I, you know, I think they bring their own. I don't know that I can grow one in time. So, um, I don't know, man. I might just lean into this. I Sorry you spilled your chai latte to 90999 to donate $1 to the victims of the U.S. East Coast earthquake. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's Mad Mike here, relaxing in my palatial state, and I wanted to let you know, do you remember when Earthquake broke the back of Hulk Hogan? Because I remember that. Because Hulk Hogan was the biggest icon of all time in WWF, and then Earthquake attacked him and kept giving him Earthquake splash, after earthquake splash, after earthquake splash. And he put Hulk Hogan on the shelf. And Jack Tunney, Vince McMahon, all the announcers, Hillbilly Jim, Tugboat, they all encouraged us to email, to not email, email wasn't around back then, to mail in that you want Hulk Hogan back. And I believe everyone was given bracelets that they wanted Hulk Hogan back. And, well, it was a very rough time in the Hulkster's life. And, and he came back at SummerSlam in 1990. And he defeated the Earthquake. Just like we all defeated the Earthquake today. And we are still making mayhem. So, ladies and gentlemen... Next time you're experiencing an earthquake and you don't know how to deal with it, just think of Hulk Hogan and remember when he defeated the earthquake. Thank you. That that was beautiful. Thank you. Do you need a moment? I'm all for cunt. I promised myself I wouldn't do this. I'll give you a topic. Impact wrestling is neither impact nor wrestling. Discuss. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Oh, yes. I, I do believe my... Now, now here's, here's the other test. Uh, now, I know my wife was one that actually did send a message in there to, uh, to the earthquake. Uh, or, I'm sorry, to the Hulk Hogan. Uh, yes. Uh, did, did anybody else send a letter when it happened? No, no it was more. No. Oh, nope, everybody was too late. <laughs> oh, yep. No. Oh, no, you're all too young. There you go. There you go. I'm actually. I'm not too young. It. It was just more I didn't give a fuck. Man. You didn't give a fuck. I <laughs> wanted to. I wanted to. I don't know why not. I just. Uh, I think WrestleFan did. WrestleFan did. Do you send it? He by emailed him. Uh, do you send it via YouTube? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> YouTube comment. Okay, WrestleFan just saw that clip last week and he tried sending something into the P.O. box. <laughs> That's a good idea, man. We should fucking, like, try calling the old JR's, you know, hint line. And Ooh. I ac We actually did once. Um, we called, when we were doing Nitros at work, we called the old <laughs> Nitro hotline. Nice. And it, just, it didn't 
connect to anything. Didn't go to anything. All right, mm-hmm. guys. I want to. I want to bring in a uh, bring back a, a little bit of a concept because something I was given this weekend. Um, Is it auto tuning the mayhem show? That's not an old concept. And I told you how much it cost to auto tune the mayhem show. We're not. It's not in the budget. Um, Donut button. What if we do an unauthorized version? Wait. Of- Okay. We have to authorize auto tuning the mayhem show. No, no, I found some software and it's six hundred and fifty dollars. No, uh, oh, I, you don't need six hundred fifty. No, you don't need that. Yeah, what you I'm fucking, saying, you can auto tune the shit out of it. What I, what I'm saying is, we do an episode of the mayhem show that is Dude. not associated with Sorgatron Media, in which we acquire <laughs> auto tune software <laughs> and do it. <laughs> No, there's got to be an option. If there's an, if there's an iPhone app that'll do it, there's got to be something. I just need to look into it a little more. If you know about auto, uh, ways that we can auto-tune to Mayhem, send it to... Good times! Good times at Wrestling Mayhem. Good times at Wrestling Mayhem Show.com will make it happen. No, but there's, no, there's this, we used to, uh, remember we used to just get like crazy energy drinks and try them out and <coughs> it usually ended very badly. I remember oh, yeah. cocaine. <laughs> I exactly. love that energy drink. Exactly. Look that up. Hey, look up. Look up. Wrestling Mayhem show. Cocaine. Wrestling Mayhem show. Steven Seagal's energy drink. Venom. Uh, stuff like that. Energy <laughs> drinks. <laughs> You'll find it. Uh, it. Actually, they're all listed. They should be all listed at youtube.com slash wrestling mayhem show still. Uh, but no, this is, uh, something. Now, Chachi, go ahead and hold that up there. Uh, you can see it's already open. I had one myself. This is, on. why, this is why Chachi's having them. Um, yeah, and I hate you already. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's called, uh, <laughs> it has a funny name, though. <laughs> this is was both at the Pittsburgh and Baltimore Comic Cons. Uh, <laughs> unemployed jobber in, in the chat room said a dark show. A dark show? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what Mayhem Show Gold is. I've heard you know, worse ideas. Actually, but, um, yeah. I the- have an entire episode of the May- Mayhem Show. It's just me talking. Oh, is that that energy gum? It's called Plow On. <laughs> oh, plow on! So I mean, because the kids got to get to school. And what does it, does it say that? No, <laughs> no. What, what does it say that it is on there on the package? I don't know. Uh, according Caps to what, gum. Oh, we lost Mike again. We'll but um, back. it but says according to the site, it's your instant energy source by ty- side buzz. Ugh. Yes, it is called plow on energy chewing gum. And it looks like ass. It looks like Smurf. Shit. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, but, yeah, show the camera. Because I, I imagine that Smurfs kind of poop like rabbits do. Okay. So, uh, no, I don't know about that. Yeah, it's, Smurf pellet. It's blue. Yeah, it's just it's a blue. I, you know, I put them in my mouth and I thought it was hard candy for a while and I forgot the truth. It's like M&M. It's kind of like it's an a, M&M. It's, a, it's bigger than an M&M. Initial smell it smells like gum. M&M. Now, when you look at it, it says it says uh, it gives at the bottom package 100 milligrams caffeine, five grams uh, uh, green tree extract. I think 100 milligrams. Uh, yeah, uh, 10 milligrams of taurine. Yeah, and five milligrams of ginseng. There you go. Oh, so, shit. so that gives you an idea. It doesn't say anything for the flavor, so it's not it's not pretending to be anything else at no. this point. Yeah. So, uh, you know, they gave they handed me a free package after I talked with the guys at my <laughs> booth, and uh, and and I'm gonna and I'm gonna I'm gonna give Sir a little bit more of that after after Chachi tries it. This is uh. Chew one piece for five minutes. If not alert within fifteen minutes, chew a second piece. Do not exceed two pieces in three hours, or more <laughs> than, die, or more than five pieces in twenty-four hours. Okay, okay, gotcha. And interesting. The statement has not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So, if I die right here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, tough shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, move me over on the couch and throw me outside when I start to stink. And I can't do emails anymore. Right. Thanks. So puts uh, me out of a job. Yeah. Well, the shit I do for energy. All right. Let's uh, pop this bitch in my mouth. Chew it. Chew I'm, it. I'm trying to. It's hard. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Just chewing it. What does it taste like? Hmm. Hmm. 
Come back to me. Come back. I mean, it's going to take some time for you to work. Five minutes. So we're going to check in with Chachi every so often here uh, as we go and uh, and see how this plow on gum tastes. Yes. Do you feel anything yet? No. Okay. I just started it, chewing it. Exactly. Uh, no, when, when Malango apparently went over, Malango, Mangtoons.com, uh, He's he's been on shows. Uh, he, when he was over there, they gave him a sample, and the, you know the marketing guys like right there was like, "Are you feeling anything yet?" And you know, and he's like, "I just put it. I just started chewing it. I don't feel anything, buddy." And he's like, "A lot of people tell us that it's like a cloud has been lifted." Yeah. Is this Matt Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the same thing he just said. Yeah, well, I don't know. This booth was right next to uh, Friends of the Show uh, uh, Cosmic Hellcat, so. Yeah. Anyways. Um, oh. Okay. Uh, that's not good. Oh, there it just <laughs> get in. Oh, no. Keep it in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> Keep, Keep it in, in there, Chachi. Oh. Well, no, it's gone. I threw it out. Uh, <laughs> didn't even get uh, to 5 to 15 minutes. Uh. Is it like a cloud has been lifted, Chachi? No, it's like a, it's like a Smurf shit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your opinion of the plow on energy gun? I, I've actually had this before. Okay. Um, you just forgot? No. Okay. I didn't know it was called plow on. Okay. I walked past a booth at the Pittsburgh Comic Con okay. that had it. And I remember having the same exact reaction then, too. <laughs> Did um, you spit it out in front of him? Not in front of them, because okay. I, I took a couple pieces and went back to the booth where I, where I was supposed to be working on your off day. What do you mean, supposed to be? Well, I mean, I obviously wasn't at the booth. Oh, well, so. yeah. I'll take those. Um, yeah, it has this really... At, at, at first, it's not bad. But then, uh, once you get past the initial sweetness, you hit all of the... There's uh, not much of initial sweetness, either. No, it's like 30 seconds. And then you hit the energy part the energy taste of it and it tastes like ass like straight up smurf shitting in your mouth um it's bad <coughs> although as far as in you know from my experience at uh pittsburgh comic con the energy factor does work mm -hmm. if you don't spit it out i think it just uh i it always works if you don't spit chachi um Hey. But, um, uh, but no, it's uh, is it the caffeine that's keeping you awake or the horrible taste that's keeping you awake is my thing. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 a very peculiar it uh, uh, gum. So it tastes worse than Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time you've been having Red Bull too, huh? No, I just saying. I, oh, yeah, the first time you poured it out. That's right. Yeah, it's the yeah. first time I've poured Red Bull into a glass, and I'll never do that again. There you go. That's a good name <laughs> for it from uh, Bobby F. J. Town. Uh, Gargamel Swamp Crotch Gum. Yeah, pretty uh, much. So there you go. There you go. Uh, so let's get into some uh, more applicable wrestling news. Actually, uh, on the off wrestling side, did you guys hear about the UFC? Uh, uh, what, 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 Bobby what? said, you're going to go back to Chachi and you're going to be in full ninja garb holding two shake weights. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, pay, I'd pay to see that. I'd yeah. pay to see that. Call my mic back. Fuck yeah, Bobby. What are you doing? Are you calling him? What are you doing? I'm trying to auto tune my voice. Okay, all Where right. Are recordings. Let's see how this works. Uh, online, online experiments. So, um, it didn't work. No, that was really rough. Yeah, it was. So, guys, did you see the UFC announcement that they're moving to Fox? Uh, yep. 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 I just realized Mike's not back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His internet uh, cut out. His internet completely cut out. He That's said. What he said. The, what are you, Texas? Call me back. Okay, there he is. Uh, oh, so UFC is not buying G4. I guess that was the rumor. Um, but this is a pretty big deal for yeah. UFC being on like a major network like that. FX, I think, has a little bit more stock than something like Spike TV. Um, and we do have Mike back. Um, I mean, what do you guys think? What? Well, first, what does this mean for uh, Impact Wrestling? Is it going to affect them at all? Or are they now do the, the best thing that Spike TV has? I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna hurt them in the long run because they did get ad push on the uh, UFC programming on Spike. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Because, I mean, Spike doesn't even have the Ultimate Fighter anymore. That's moving to FX. Well, I thought they weren't uh, showing the Ultimate Fighter at all anymore. Uh, no, that's I thought th they were cutting that away. That's going to FX, actually. So. I see. Interesting. But, um, okay. What are you doing, Chachi? I was trying to auto-tune the voice. Okay. And <laughs> it didn't work. You no. see why this is a problem. Yes. Yes. Uh, but anyways, no, <laughs> UFC on FX. And, and are they going to have it on Fox Network as well for some yes. events? So they are. So yeah. it is going to get national exposure. I think they said there going to be like four... Um, four big events. Either but four or six. I don't remember the exact number, but four, four or six events on Fox. Okay. And, and so I'm assuming it's just like what they did with Spike. Like they'll have, like they'll have the free UFC like 186 or whatever, and it's free on Spike TV. It's mm -hmm. just now it'll be on Fox. Yeah, and all the rest of the programs actually going to land on FX. Yes. So um, they say November is going to be UFC's coming out party. It sounds like, uh, according to Dana White. Uh, I'm trying to find details on that. It's a. Uh, I bet Dana White is hoping that MMA gets approved for New York City by then, so he oh. can have oh, the yeah. first big Fox show in the Garden. That would be tremendous. Mm, that would be, be awesome. That would be the perfect. That would be that would be its coming out party if mm -hmm. they were able to do that. Uh, MMA let's see. He, he was out on of the closet. How much of it's going to be? Uh, is Fox Sports actually? It looks like he's on Fox Sports Radio talking with some guys. Uh, is Fox Sports going to start covering this? You know. Uh, are you going to start seeing radio coverage of something like UFC and MMA? It would kind of. I don't, of make I don't know sense. about radio coverage though. No. I don't know how. You, how would you do that? I no, you can do that boxing. Same thing. way you cover hockey, man, no, really no, quickly. Or how you how you used to cover hmm. boxing, even you know. Um, and there goes my mic. Yeah, yeah. This is why you need to. This is why wireless is bad for Skype. Uh, anyways. Um, Fuck yeah. But it, right here, it actually breaks it down. What will happen in the series Ultimate Fighter? Their deal with Spike TV is uh, up in January. So January, everything goes to Fox, including Ultimate Fighter, their reality show. Um, the cool thing is that uh, it's going to FX. We're going to be on FX and do it live. Live? Wow. We'll do it live. Like We're going to do a reality show live? Is that how mm -hmm. it's going to be? They, they did say they're going to be changing the format. So... Um, but no, that's pretty cool, and it's cool that's going to be accessible. That's pretty cool. I might get a little bit of EOFC uh, for having uh, cut the cord, you know, in my own household, you know. So, but it's definitely better exposure for them as a sport. So, and I'd be curious to see how the production values change with Fox doing it. Uh, I do wonder. Well, it, it depends. Does does Fox handle the production? Did Spike TV handle the production? I want to think UFC has their own production deal uh, since yeah, they I do pay per views on their own. So. I'm sure they probably do, but I think, you know, when you go to network, it's different. Yeah, it can be. It, it all depends on the deal. It really does all depend on the deal. Because, I mean, yeah, I mean, WWE does stuff for NBC. That doesn't mean, you know, they, they do that. Um, how much of production on NFL is done by the NFL themselves versus the... A lot. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mean, mm -hmm. I mean, Fox comes in and does their stuff on top of that. Am I right? Does that seem to be the case? Probably. Nobody. I, th I think Fox handles like a lot of the graphics and stuff. Well, yeah, obviously they kind of have their graphics layer over everything else and their own commentators and uh, and all that kind of stuff. But I want to say this: there's, there's got to be some general stuff that that is really just production wise handled by NFL. I mean, you, we got NFL films. NFL has their own cameras there; they have to have them. Yeah, they do most of the production themselves because of the. Stuff like that, and their own network. So, and they own the rights to all the footage. Right. I mean, they right, right out the gate, they they own the rights to all that. Just like NHL owns owns their stuff, MLB uh, owns their <coughs> stuff. It doesn't matter what network. WWE owns their stuff. Well, WWE's not. Honest well, no. Part. When they go when they go on NBC, they own their stuff. Yeah, yeah, but they're not like they're not calling it like you know. It's not like NBC Sports is calling. Uh, and uh, WWE depends. for anything like that. And that's the other thing. Is it going to be UFC guys announcing, or is it going to be Fox guys announcing at this point? So, oh, I mean, that's... No, that's I think they'll hard. keep their, their, their own guys. I mean, Joe Rogan's such a part of that sport. You he know? has to be. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Although, I would kill to see Joe Buck announce a UFC event. Hey, let's throw Terry Bradshaw in a UFC. Joe event. Buck like and that. Terry Bradshaw. Joe I Buck kind of want to hit you that's for it right suggesting there. that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I like I, I would never watch UFC. 
on Fox, but yeah, I kind of want to hit you for suggesting Joe Buck announce well, anything. I was being <laughs> facetious. I really don't want Joe Buck anywhere near that. <laughs> they could be in Mark Madden. <laughs> oh, oh, I hate uh, he doesn't have anything to do with Fox right now. So? He's... Oh, okay. Alright. You mean John Madden? No. No, he means Mark Madden. No, uh, what Madden a dream team that would be. be. Mark Madden and John Madden. Well, what you gotta do is you gotta punch them in the face and then da 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 That's turning into Bill Cosby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even, I'm, even turning, I'm turning into Bill Cosby. I was waiting for you to bring up Jello Puddin' Pops. <laughs> so, so as Bill Cosby gets older, your, your, uh, your, yeah, your thing deteriorates. Um, There's always room for some side control, children. Uh, here's another one. Uh, Chachi, you might be interested in this. Johnny Fairplay took a jab at TNA for using Scott Bayo as part of the Eric Young angle. And I commented to this on Twitter. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And you should bring that comment to the show. Uh, although, uh, yeah, yeah, it, 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 really? Johnny Fairplay is the person to be calling out Scott Bayo for his use on TNA? Right. He's, Johnny he called him Scott Bayo. <laughs> Was that? Johnny Fairplay is the one that sent his wife to Tough Enough simply to get on the show once. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. You yeah. can't do it yourself, so just bring up the fact that Scott Bay is he's doing made, it. He's made the headlines. They're Good for him. They're and both mistakes in my opinion. God, but... Balo. <laughs> but you know what? Um, the Eric Young segments on TNA are not a mistake at all. They have been amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not if, they, if, if anyone can make Scott Bayo work in TNA, it's Eric Young. Did they involve Scott Bayo? Did those yeah. did those involve Scott Bayo? Yeah, this week he's supposed to be fighting Bayo. Yeah, well, nice. you know what? Then fuck, fuck it. Fuck him. Yeah. We're anti Scott Bayo now, in case you missed that memo. Well, to be anti Scott Bayo means I would have to be pro you. Right. I'm pro Chaji. I don't, know that, I don't know if I'm necessarily pro Josh yet. Listen, <laughs> well, allow me to try to persuade you. <laughs> <laughs> All right? <laughs> so. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike. We have history. All right? I've spilled Pepsi on your curtains. <laughs> I've terrorized your city by running three blocks to bars. Yelling, we gotta save Chad! Without shoes. Without, shoes. To, to, without shoes. To save someone who didn't need saving. <laughs> okay? You've thrown, you've thrown baby carriages down the No, steps. car seats. Car seats. Uh, <laughs> not th- baby car seats. Like thrown, a full-sized you've automobile. You've thrown babies downstairs in New York. So, I mean... Come on, sir. We have history. Right. We have hunted for the Rat King together. What's that? Yeah. We have hunted for the Rat King together. Exactly. We have history. What has Scott Bayo done for you? Ever. Ever. Rest the development. Ever. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's true. Blah, Ever. Blah, blah, blah. Ever. Right, you know what? I, I'm declaring here and now, Charles is not in charge of me. See? Moving on. So I'll Welcome see to the you. army. I will see you in the ring, Scott Bale. Motherfucker. All right. <laughs> wow. uh, in other news. There's a, there is no other news. Uh, uh, then, Fucking Scott Then Bale. thank you very much. We've all known what we learned in wrestling. We'll see you guys next week here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Charles <laughs> in charge. Um, All right, uh, motherfucker! No, the raw- I will destroy you. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. No, I'm still pro Chachi. That's just catchy, man. Chachi <laughs> <laughs> uh, in charge of our days and our and nights. Our nights. Oh boy! I want Chachi in the, the, charge. The raw- like he, he's, he's a dick. I'm trying to move on so bad. He's a dick, though. Okay. Like I don't know Scott if you Bayer or yeah. blah blah blah. No, Scott Bayo. <laughs> like I, I added a column on my tweet deck, so I can see what he's tweeting about. That you need way. to teach that to Terry Bradshaw. But um, <laughs> yeah, I added a column so I could always know what's going on. 
with Scott Bale. Uh huh. <laughs> He's doing this charity thing for his wife. Stalker. All right. No, you have to know what your enemy is doing. <laughs> you have to know what they are doing. You keep your friends close to your enemies close to Yes. So, uh... Yeah, and he's collecting money for his wife's marathon or some sh- bullshit like that for hungry children in America or something like that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's on. not like he's playing video games for kids or something. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You're right about him being a dick. Have you ever watched that uh, Scott Bayo is 43 and pregnant or whatever? No, I don't watch Scott Bayo is 50 and irrelevant. Dude, but, he's um, so <laughs> fuck. He's such a dickbag. Like, he's, he's telling people... <laughs> You're not wrong. He's a huge cock. Yeah, he's telling people that if, he, if, he, if they donate to this thing, that he'll follow them. A guy donated, and it was an accident, but a guy donated one cent. And he, he went off on this guy for donating one cent. Here's and what we need to do. Immediately after that, he got the other 99 cents that the guy meant to donate, but it was his first time using PayPal. Here's what, here, here's like, what we need to do, He went off guys. on this guy because he donated a penny we without should, knowing should. what was going on. Chachi, yeah. you need to donate to Scott Bayo just to call him a D-bag. No. Just to call him out. I won't give him that satisfaction. Although I am learning that it's hard to get a celebrity's attention when you're not calling or telling them to fuck off. Like, if you are if you're trying to be creative with your insults towards a celebrity then they're not gonna notice you. So he should just tell Scott Bayo to fuck off. Yeah, technically I should. And that'll get a response from him, but yeah. Elnade <laughs> says, uh, "Donate one cent repeatedly to his charity." Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Scott Bayo isn't call. worth one cent. Oh, no. oh, oh charity, blah blah blah. I would, blah. I would donate one cent a hundred times. Well, I mean, I, I blah 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 blah. Blog. Let me just state that I have no problem with the charity that he's donating to. It's just he's doing the donating. Yeah, it's him though. Yeah. And he keeps, it, like, he'll repeatedly brag about how well off he is and how well off his family is and how well off his daughter's gonna be on Twitter. But he's not putting up any of his own money. That's because he's so well off, Chuck. Like, he wants everyone else to donate money, but he could, if he's so well off, he could easily drop a couple hundred yeah, grand. That's typical, though, for these things. No. Isn't it? No? No? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, usually the no, celebrity the, the in charge is, says sorry, they'll Mike. match any donation. He's yeah, yet yeah, to say yeah. anything about matching a donation. He he just he's just getting people to donate. <laughs> All right. I'm like, you could easily drop a hundred grand and feed them kids for like three years. But no. All right, are we done being angry at Scott Bayo? Fuck Scott. No. Bale. Okay. Uh, we will never be done. Being angry at Scott Bale. Let's take a break blah, so we can blah, talk blah. about some news. Uh, the Rock has a nude NBC Pro Wrestling project. Ooh. A nude NBC project. Nude, nude, nude NBC nude wrestling. According to, nude. Pro, nude. wrestling. According to Pro Wrestling. According to Pro Wrestling. Net, uh, <laughs> along with Jerry Bruckheimer on a pilot for uh, the Pro Wrestling drama, uh, NBC is committed to the pilot. Uh, the show will be set in the 1980s and will be written. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> Wow, so he's gonna have a giant fro. No, actually, he's executive um, producer on this. So, if if the if the show's gonna be set in the eighties, they're gonna have to be really racist to be accurate. Ah, uh, I don't think they can do that. I think that's against. I know TV. they can't, but they they really you know. Fabe. Yeah, yeah. Singing from the mountaintops. Fabe. <laughs> Rub it on your chest. So, so wait, do, do we think this show is actually going to be, like, about, like, the territories? Like, are they going to name NWA or uh, uh, no, or anything gonna, like it's that? It's got to be all fiction. It really doesn't say. It just says the show is going to be set in the uh, 1980s and be read by such and such. So, uh, it could be fun. Uh, who knows? I mean, it, it could be a pilot that doesn't go anywhere. You know, like Tag Team did. 
Um, tag yeah. team. Oh, tag in. team. Check, check, check collect, the let's begin. Let's begin. Party, um, party people, let me hear some noise. DC is in the house. I was Come more thinking the Roddy, Roddy Piper. Wow. And, uh, wow. Yeah, I know more wow. about I know more lines to that song than I thought I did. I know <laughs> more than that. I just stopped because I was hearing wows. <laughs> Oh man, and, and of course, as I go through here, Matt Hardy lashes out of the fan. Why is this news? Why is this Matt news? Matt Hardy, I'm Matt funny. Hardy's a douche. He's like, well, yeah, he's a douche on Twitter. Yeah, carry on, carry on. <laughs> All right, I, I have a question. Uh, can I can I can I make a statement here, Sorg? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, internet. <laughs> um, because I, I know you're all listening. You, you're you're all tuned into the Wrestle Man Show because. We're talking about Matt Hardy and Scott Bayo, so clearly everyone's listening. Um, Fuck Scott Bayo. Can, can mm, we Matt all Hardy collectively? Scott Bayo fans. Can we all collectively, as a group, unfollow Matt Hardy? I don't think I'm following anymore. Unfollow them. Unfollow them, motherfucker. Ages ago. I I no, never I, I, followed him. I don't. I haven't yet. I'm going to. Because I, I I like to watch train wrecks on Twitter as I've stated earlier this week, mm-hmm. and <laughs> Matt Hardy is clearly a train wreck on Twitter. But um, can can we collectively, as the internet, unfollow Matt Hardy? <laughs> because I think that might be where he hits rock bottom and he finally realizes that no one cares about a fake ghost he had in his apartment. Own <laughs> <laughs> age make made a good point. He loves he loves how Matt Hardy thinks a WWE WWE con- comeback is a a good idea and b possible because <laughs> <laughs> everyone yeah. else knows no it's not. It's you want to know how I know that Matt Hardy is not coming back to WWE? Because because Jim Ross, who is usually Did pretty you, diplomatic you with America? his answers, mm-hmm. America. J- Jim Ross, like, was asked flat out if Matt Hardy was going to come back to WWE, and Jarrah was like, yeah, how about no? How about no? (laughs) (laughs) Like, there are only two, like, JR has been going on a tweet fest since he's been on the road and has been in airports and stuff, and there are only two questions he really has definitive answers on. Will Chris Benoit be in the Hall of Fame, and will Matt Hardy return to WWE? And they're both no. (laughs) <sighs> All right. Uh, in in other news, you know what always makes makes people happier on this show after we've talked about Matt Hardy? Don't titties. say it. Huh? That. Jeff Hardy. Did, titties. Jeff. Uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe close to it. How about midget championship wrestling? Hulk Hogan's mm, midget championship wrestling. Has this has this been on yet? Because no. this is their season finale is being recorded <sighs> at uh. At, at the Hard Rock at Universal St- Studios, uh, it will feature Hulk Hogan, Pat Tanaka, Brian Nobbs, and the MCW wrestlers. Seriously, can can the can the city of Orlando ban Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff? Hulk Hogan, like, yeah, just like sur- thrives I think, I there think right the now. The entire world would be better for those two being banned from the city of Orlando. Yeah, yeah. Um, but True TV, really? Does anybody watch True TV? Oh, wait, no. you know what else is on True TV? Uh, Jesse Ventura. Is he? Oh, yes, he is on <laughs> yeah. True TV, isn't he? But also, <laughs> there... <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mean Gene. <laughs> also on, on there is Bear Swamp Recovery, which is uh, Eric Bischoff and Jason Hervey's latest project. Uh, that sounds oh, way less shit. sexy than it should be. Yeah, it's in New Jersey. Bear oh. Swamp Recovery. Mm. You know what song? What show I like? What's that? Swamp People. <laughs> no, seriously. Really? You're you ever feeling down about yourself? Put on an <laughs> episode of Swamp People. You will realize that your your life is not that bad. That's kind of why I watched Jerry Springer back in the day. You? That's that's why I watch Mori Povich now. Yeah, yeah. That's why I watch people on the street. <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs> Mike, you are not yes. the father. That's why I watch TNA. I told you. I told you, bitch. I ain't the father. I told you. I told you. It was the Ron. Yeah, and then he dances. <laughs> yeah, I was going to dance. I'm glad you comfortable on the couch. 
Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Anything else you want to hit on from uh, WWE or TNA this week? Anything uh, interesting dude, happens? We got new tag team champions. New tag Hell team yeah. champions we might actually care about. That Air was- boom. Air Boom, Evan Bourne, and Kofi Kingston. They, this Co- this list exactly what I was talking about. This is their TV title. Um, also interesting, um, the the Awesome Truth, I like to call them. Maybe? Yes. Yes, yes the Awesome Truth. Uh, the Miz and, R- and R-Truth, I also said Riz-Truth, uh, is... Uh, you shouldn't be booing me. You ought to be booing yourself. Yes, yeah, right. Boo us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you suck. That- you suck. You suck. <laughs> you suck. That have been and some of the, the more interesting stuff I've seen in a while there. Uh, R-Truth, how did R-Truth go from like the, the, the dark match we don't care about for the kids to this? Because well, he was I've, good, I R-Truth. Is that Mike? I, I have a theory. Um, our truth when he was in TNA, mm-hmm. he had a really big fan, a young child by the name of James, <laughs> who followed Ron Killings um, to, to, during his entire TNA run and when he came to WWE. And he recently passed away. And now our truth is being possessed, not possessed, but haunted by the spirit of Little oh, James. And that's why he keeps looking around. All wow. right. All He's right. looking for Whitey. <laughs> That's why I'm always looking around. I'm looking for Whitey. <laughs> the white man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, aside from that, um, wow. Wow. Uh, I- by the ghost of Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> so is this is this the tag the tag division uh thriving? We have no. two, we have maybe two teams? No. No, no not yet. The, no. So this we don't have anything for the mid card guys. Okay. So there's gonna be a mid card sort of thing. Mid-tard. Well I've, I have a feeling that mid-tard. it's kind of um coincidental <laughs> that is and truth team up on the same night that Airborne and uh Kofi Kingston win the tag titles because they can just have a feud going for a couple months. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Why didn't we come up with the phrase "mid card" whenever Eugene was all up on the mid card? <laughs> Shit, that's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, now wait, Bobby's saying in the chat room, Triple H wants to bring back the cruiserweights. Where did this come from? <sighs> they else hear this? All the small guys. I just heard the rumor. Like, I don't know, really think well, it's going to happen. He probably only wants to do that because Ray may be out till WrestleMania, and they need someone to fight the Sin Caras. Okay, okay, the Sin Caras. Yeah, the fighting Sin Caras. You know, and that was another <laughs> weird thing. Was uh, was uh, Big Freaky, of course, uh, was saying on SmackDown how uh, Sin Cara was probably the most over in that battle royal. Uh huh. So uh, Mexican. What? Mexican. They should they should start doing the Bellas gimmick and call them Twin Cara instead. <laughs> yeah, give them fucking sexy masks. I don't think that's part of it. Yeah, I, that that wasn't really where I was going. But okay, <laughs> that's where I was going. <laughs> but thanks for your contribution. <laughs> I'm gonna I am gonna go on uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 right now, and I'm gonna give the Bellas masks that look like future Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. Terry! That's it. That's the end. Use that trampoline to leap into the ring. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, it is like... It, and there's been comments every week about, uh, about man, Sin Cara looks bigger. Uh, <laughs> thanks to T for just not noticing. Uh, other than that, and, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so anything else we want to touch on before we get out of here? And thanks. Oh, um, Rick Rick Flair is back in wrestling. Yep, Rick Flair is back in wrestling. I actually didn't finish TNA, but I got to see the beginning yeah. of it. Man, that oh guy. no, you didn't miss much. Sorg. No, no. Like they couldn't even make an eight man X division gauntlet worth watching. It's all right. It's all right. It, it, it was given like ten minutes. Yeah. For eight dudes. It was a TV match. What did you expect? I thought Shima looked good in it. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, <laughs> TNA has literally pushed me to the breaking point where I'm actively watching Jersey Shore for the second hour. I mean, seriously, it was so mm. good that an earthquake happened during it, and I didn't even notice. 
Yeah. Well, like I think WrestleFan pointed out uh, l- last night, actually, that about TNA's uh, strange booking or whatever. He, yeah, he goes. He, they had a promo about the about the uh, the tournament they're having, or the round robin, or whatever the Bound for Glory matches they're having, mm-hmm. and they showed uh, who was it, Devon getting beat pretty quickly and the next like then they come cut back live or taped or whatever and he lost again to oh, Scott, yeah, Scott Steiner on clip in where he 45 was beat seconds by Bubba Ray Dudley. Oh, Bubba no, Ray, he was beat, yeah. He was beat by Bully Ray in the clip with his feet on the rope and then Scott Steiner beat him on impact with his feet on the rope. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That. So. So. What, that, what? What's the problem with that? Because <coughs> because the two guys came in and got together, uh, beat them the same way. Uh, it's, it just it's seemed so like it, I didn't. I didn't watch Impact, so mm-hmm. I don't really know how it went. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of glad I didn't. Yeah. I mean, I not... didn't really notice it until someone pointed it out. I mean, yeah, it was a quick. It was a quick match. Wrestle fans saying it was over in like forty five seconds. But really, do you want to see a longer match with Steiner yeah, and Devon? It's a TV match. What do you, are you really not? Are you really surprised by forty five minutes at the second that are at this at this point? Come on, guys. I mean, it's 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 TV. And One thing I am pissed off about with uh, the Bound for Glory series, though, hmm. they changed what the match and No Surrender is going to be. Okay. Because it was initially supposed to be a four-way match. When they first announced the Bound for Glory series, it was going to be the top four guys in a four-way match, and the winner was going to go on to um, Bound for Glory. Yeah. Which makes sense. Because, you know, you take, the f- you take the top four guys in this tournament, and you have them fight. Now they're saying it's going to be two singles matches. I don't exactly know how that determines one winner. To have a to, to to have a three way maybe? No, yeah. they didn't say have a three way. Three way. So maybe they have a four man tournament kind of thing. But but this is all a tournament anyway. Why would you have a tournament inside a tournament? Ah, uh, it's, it's a oh, tournament. Inception. Ooh, how many levels deep can you go in the tournament, Mike? <laughs> we have to go deeper. That's, That's what, what she said. Oh, I want to go deeper. Jeez. Uh, Shut up, Juno. I, oh, oh, no. oh, I'd go deeper in Juno. Whoa. It's because you're a pedophile. Whoa. I'm not. She is perfectly legal. Anyway, so there's a SmackDown coming up Tuesday, no, which interferes not. with this show. Assholes. I can't be here. You're going to stay at home and watch the live SmackDown, Chachi? Yeah. Okay. I no. will have SmackDown on mute and i will give live updates that's that's gonna be what we'll have to do we'll do live updates here on the show and uh and there you go we did live updates when ecw was on tuesday yeah then we just didn't care anymore Um, nobody did it's a super smackdown um and it's gonna be on yeah there's no what what the hell details for the live uh, i hate these news stories wrestle fan she is not 12 years old she's at least 13 years older than you i think she's like 22 she looks about 12 Uh, though so, anyways, well, guys, at that point, uh, Wait, so, I was gonna ask Chachi how that gum was going, but I forgot he spit it out. Yeah, fuck that noise. Yeah, some good I always thought Chachi going on. swallowed. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck that. Oh, <laughs> all right, guys, it's time semen. to learn. Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? <laughs> oh man, what what did I learn from wrestling? I learned that um, I learned that our truth. I, I, I love our truth but um, I don't think he was supposed to say you suck I think he was supposed to say shut up mm-hmm. because that was the voiceover that was going on in his actual music mm-hmm. and I think he just changed it because he was getting tired of the what chance but do you, know, you know what though they played off of it really well and it just turned into this whole thing and uh, and that was fun you know they, they, they played off the crowd and it was a lot of great stuff it's memorable. Yes. You know. Lay me off, Johnny. 
Uh, oh, and I also learned Santino hasn't won a match on um, Raw in five years. Yeah. Uh, Which I don't think is true. No, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> that's definitely not true. Yeah, uh, Yeah, because didn't he? they had the fucking tag belts recently? Yes, they did. Yes. Yes, they that's did. That's true. Um, and uh, LB, what would you learn from wrestling this week? What I learned from wrestling this week, um, it's it's both simple and terribly complicated. Um, so you listen to our truth, and he talks about you know oh there's a conspiracy against him, which you know he's lightly implying it's because he's black. <laughs> That's not the case. <clears throat> what there is is a conspiracy against Jewish wrestlers. Uh oh. Is that it? Look for it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh. Just look for it. Oh. The Wait, signs so are there. No evidence? Scotty Goldman. I'm not just oh. talking about him, but yes, he's part of it. Goldberg. Riz. Barry Horowitz. No, Riz, what did you <laughs> learn from wrestling this week? I learned that the WWE has uh, gone so far from the pre-attitude era that we have to have a site dedicated to knowing an article on WWE.com and knowing who Kevin Nash is. Mm. All right. Just a reminder. Just a reminder. Just, you know, just just a reminder to Cena fans who came in le- early or late or whatever. Mm. Or like just saying, like Russell fan who only watched via YouTube. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to go to YouTube for this one. From the chat room, we have... Uh, Unemployed jobber learned that John Cena has a boomerang shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, I kept coming back last night. That was pretty cool. Um, a wrestle fan learned that Joey Styles spit coffee on the WWE.com server. <laughs> I don't know what that's uh, from. Il- Il- Nades learned that a John Cena t shirt is not as big of a keepsake as you think it would be. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Bobby F. J. Town learned that Bear Swamp Recru- Recovery is about that fat guy, Bear. And the other two guys are harvesting sweat out of his crack, <laughs> recovering, recovering it for fun. Also learned that both Miz and Our Truth hate spiders. Nice. Oh, WWE. Stomp. Yeah, they the, did. They did both stomp fake spiders. They did spawn. The same, yeah, they stomped at the same time, and that was amazing. Uh, Russell, that was a long remember. That was a long learn. Uh, Ru- Russell fan reminds us that WWE uh, corporate website was down. That's what that. Uh, Joey Styles spitting coffee was about. So there you go. All right, guys. Uh, and Chachi, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? What'd you learn from Scott Bayo this week? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I I didn't learn much from wrestling this week. I had a really good one last night, and I didn't write it down because I thought I'd remember. <laughs> Silly me. Uh, so Sorg, what I what I <laughs> what I learned this week is that. An earthquake, no matter how small, is fucking terrifying when you're 41 floors up. Yeah, man. Fuck that noise. I, I can only imagine. I was only four flights up. Yeah, I almost pooped myself. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, when you're up that high and the floor is bowing, you kind of don't want to be up that high anymore. <laughs> you're you're climbing yeah. on shit to make sure you don't fall through the hole in the floor that you're sure is coming. <laughs> how, how big was this earthquake? What's, What's that? that? How big was this earthquake if there were holes in the floor? It's a uh, no, magnitude 5.9. Yeah, there's no holes in the floor, but you could see the the Boeing 41 floors up in the in the floor. Mm. Okay. Mm. Wow. You know, I bet you guys should blame Bane for this. I blame Scott Bayo. Yep, me too. Fuck that. All right. He thought he was in charge. The sword made some uh, excellent No Man's Land comparisons that really made me panic a little bit today. <laughs> we are in Gotham City. Fucking Lex Luthor is fucking with us. That was Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor? That was Lex Luthor. Oh Luthor shit, dude! I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I thought you were done with that series. He's drunk. I was, no, I started reading. No, no, seriously, I started reading No Man. Like, this is not about the show. But I'll tell you afterwards. Anyway, right. <laughs> Sword, what, what did you learn you from learn wrestling this week? week? I learned uh, how much. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm chewing some of the gum because I realized how tired I was getting. Um, uh-huh. 
Oh, this is bad. Um, plow on gum. <laughs> Three, two. Oh, and uh, <laughs> Zach one. Ryder. Zach Ryder says the earthquake on the East Coast was caused by a WWE dropping the ball on him. <laughs> uh, uh, that's um, pretty good. That's that's pretty that's fucking absolutely. awesome. No, like I said, like, like, with a woo woo woo. Like I said at the at the Comic Con uh, over the weekend, it was really cool to meet a lot of wrestling fans and see what they were into. Uh, to see how excited people still get over Triple H, and especially women get excited over Triple H and The Rock and everything. Uh, met a couple that had been to the last three WrestleManias. Uh, it was fun. Uh, it, it's always cool to get out there and not just be, you know, talking amongst our wrestle smart friends and all that stuff and talking to, to uh, you know, if you want to call them real wrestling fans or the typical he wrestling fans. us. Yes, that's you guys. That's you guys <laughs> out there. All you guys, Yay. all you guys reading them dirt sheets and then thinking you're too smart for wrestling. Um, but no, it's really cool to get down to earth with these people and, uh, and, and see what they're digging out there, like for real, you know. Um, and having a great conversation about why the hell is Ric Flair not retired? Seriously. Um, or, <laughs> or, or stuff like that. That was fun. Or, or Jericho, you know, Jericho stuff he did with Shawn Michaels was a good conversation. Fozzie was a good conversation. What's going on with Jericho? So, uh, so I learned a lot from, I learned a lot from the people of Baltimore Comic Con. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Sweet. So guys, thanks a lot. The chat room has been hopping tonight. It's great to see. I keep seeing a lot of new faces in there. I'm really happy to to, to see them. Uh, and uh, I welcome all of you guys that may have uh, been introduced to us for the first time from Baltimore Comic Con. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying your stickers and stuff and stick around. Uh, we got plenty more from where that came from. We got a mailing list now. And that's what a lot of them uh, signed up for. Uh, go over to SorgatronMedia.com and sign up for that, and you will get a weekly digest of everything going on here on the network. And any, any news or anything going on, any special stuff. Sometimes we're going to have some contests going on as well, so please check in for that. Sign up for that at SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, please head over to WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Check out all the information about the show. Follow us and everything going on at Twitter. Good times. At Mayhem Good Show. Time. God, this gum is so bad. Uh, please follow us on Facebook. <laughs> you know, we post a lot of news and comments throughout the week. Uh, and, uh, and Riz, you've been really good about commenting on a lot of that stuff. Let us know your opinion of what's going on out there in wrestling. Please submit news to the Facebook page. We're looking there a lot. Uh, there's been a couple of stories that have come up there on, on some of the shows. Submit it on the Facebook page that we use. I take a, a glance at that before we, uh, we do the show every week. Um, that's kind of where I'm keeping track of where the stories are. Uh, lately, so please go do that. Um, follow us on, like I said, Twitter, uh, uh, iTunes, Blip TV, all that stuff. We're here live, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, every Tuesday at live.sorgatronmedia.com. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. <laughs> Buy the stickers. Buy the stickers and the Mayhem Show app. So, guys, uh, oh, good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Good times. No. Good times. 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 Good times.